Hey y'all, what's up? I haven't been here doing a reaction since what, Jurassic World? But anyway, since you guys didn't get my official review on The Batman, which came out a little bit ago, I'm going to react to this new hidden deleted scene that we're getting with the Joker. So let's get to it because it's about five minutes long and then I'm going to give you just a little bit of my take on it. Plus my review on the initial movie since you guys didn't actually get that. So I'm going to shut up. We're going to watch that now. Serial killer. I want your perspective. First anniversary games. Paper. What makes you think I come so cheap? I thought you'd be curious. You think I go off of this stuff? Don't you? I really 
think? I think you don't really care about his motives, whether he loves or hates you. I think somewhere deep down, you're just terrified. Sure, he's wrong, huh? You think they deserved it, huh? You think they deserved it? <laughs> Okay, so that was the deleted scene between the Batman and the Joker. Now, if you haven't seen the Batman, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning. Spoiler alert, just a little bit. But actually, no, you don't really need much of a spoiler alert, but you need it now. So anyway, what did you guys think? Um, I think the Joker's look kind of goes with the aesthetic of the rest of this film. Dark, gritty, actually kind of scary yeah um i'm this is dope to me i'm kind of glad that they kind of left it out of the film because this film kind of circled around the riddler who hasn't really been front and center in a batman flick in a really really long time i mean we had jim carrey play him once before but even then he had he shared the stage with two Face and all that so it was like oh we got the riddler as the epicenter of the, the the villain of this particular film so i enjoyed the fact that joker didn't steal the scene again because it's always batman joker and we just got a joker movie not that long ago so it's like when you hear talk about batman when you, you see a batman flick you know that the joker is going to be involved in some way shape form or fashion and even in the movie we get to hear his voice and we never see him um I'm glad we didn't because I would have unnerved me because <laughs> he just looked hideous. But yeah, this is, and, and this is like kind of like the Batman, not origins of Batman, but kind of like in the beginning. Clearly we see he, here that Joker, he's saying it's been a year anniversary, I'm assuming from when he fell into the acid and his face and hair got jacked up. Clearly he hasn't grown back, but um, yeah, this is how he looks in this particular film. And I mean, that look looks amazing. It goes with what everything we're going. Now, quick tidbits about the movie. The movie is like three hours long. So if you're watching, <laughs> like thinking about it, when that movie went off, I was shaking my leg so profusely because I had to go to the bathroom. And I had like this cup of like, uh, I didn't get soda. I don't drink soda, but tea. I got some tea, iced tea. That's what happened. If this five minutes of footage <laughs> would have been in the film, I don't know how my bladder would have been able to make it to the end credits. And I did the whole spiel. Like, this is what we're doing with um comic book movies. We are waiting for cut scenes at the end or post credit scenes. And I did that and it was like some kind of riddle thing. I really didn't wait for it. I was like, I asked my kid what, what it was about. But yeah, it was like a website pertaining to like this in the real life. But anyway, the point is I didn't stick around for it because my player all right i'm gonna talk about that all right let's talk about the film let's talk about have you seen it so far um a lot of people at first were kind of like mixed review on it because some folks are still in love with the campiness that we've gotten in former batman films as well as you know i guess 60s homage but we've seen so many iterations of batman and i mentioned this in my original trailer reaction for this a year ago <sighs> This is Batman at his detective roots. He's not paying attention to his his company. He's not worried about, you know, any of that. And I did give you guys an article review. So if you haven't checked that out, go to my website, drunkeninsomniacwriter.com. I got a whole take on the film. So I'm not really going to dwell into everything that I said originally on that. But I am going to talk briefly, briefly about it. Um here because you guys i know folks are like why did you talk about it on youtube because most folks don't want to read but if you want to read go check out the article anyway again i love the batman i love the darkness of it at first i had to like watch it again and kind of wrap my fingers around wrap my head around it but it definitely was more of a detective nor gritty look of the film and that's what we you know that's the whole 
feeling that I got from it. But watching this cut scene and I kind of understand why it was cut out, it would have pushed it more away from that suspense, dramatic feel and tone of the movie. Don't get me wrong. The movie was violent, very, very violent. But this, on the other hand, this particular scene probably would have added something to it that it really didn't need. So when you get the Blu-ray, you check out the Blu-ray when it comes out and it has all the extra stuff. Yeah, perfect. And I'm probably sure there are other deleted scenes. And I'm wondering if D WB, DC, whatever, when they make these movies, are they going, is this going to be a thing? Cause you know, we had the Whedon version of Justice League. Then we had the Snyder cut and we've gotten some movies and we've gotten some deleted scenes that add a lot more context. And this makes that conversation that the Joker and the Riddler have towards the end of the film in Arkham makes it kind of make a little bit more sense. So, Hey, gives us some context there. Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts and comments down below because where else are you going to leave them and let me know what did you think about the batman this deleted scene with the joker and just anything else you want to talk about down there you talk about anything you talk about superman if you want to i don't even care as long as you leave a comment but above all of that make sure you like subscribe hit that bell to be notified so you can be notified of future videos and stuff for everyone else thank you thank you so much and um again head on over to drunken and check out some cool tidbits over there and i'll see you guys next time oh make sure you check out the single chronicles that's on there too one other thing i forgot to say be awesome be you but above all else love yourself all right guys take care